Bird friendly coffee. What? I recently found out about a magical little coffee shop in Cape Vincent called Cup of Joy, but the true magic of this place happens in another business in the back. Meet Dan Miller. He owns and operates Gato Diablo Bird Friendly Coffee. But what does coffee have to do with birds? Well, Dan believes that coffee is stronger than you think. And he has some pretty knowledgeable friends at the Smithsonian that agree. A little background on Dan. He has a bachelor's in molecular biology, a master's in ecology and evolution with a concentration in conservation biology. He's also a certified New York State master naturalist through the Cornell Cooperative Extension. I've got so many questions. So, Dan, of, of all things, coffee in Cape Vincent and bird safe coffee, how did this whole thing come about? Well, it sort of started uh, when we went to Costa Rica for the first time uh, back in 2015. And when we were there, we drank a lot of coffee that was grown locally and tasted really good. And when we came back home from that, we couldn't find coffee that we liked as much. And so we thought, well, we'll take the bull by the horns and make, it here. make our own coffee. How much does a small commercial roaster cost? <laughs> so the, the bird safe coffee comes from South America and, and you're you partnered somehow with the Smithsonian? We uh, like the idea of trying to do something that was sustainably grown and so doing the research we came across things like the Rainforest Alliance and, and so now we primarily work with the Smithsonian Institute with their bird friendly coffee. It's the hardest certification for a coffee farm to achieve. They have to be organically grown. They have to have a minimum quantity of proper rainforest shade trees under which the coffee grows it just can't be like banana trees that uh, don't provide proper shade and so when doing that these trees which then grow in a canopy of different layers provide habitat for especially migratory birds is the focus of the program but it also benefits local birds and other wildlife like sloths and monkeys and so so like your traditional kind of factory farming coffee is done with no shade, there's no biodiversity, there's barely any birds down there. Correct. If you see one of these farms, it looks like a roll of corn. And, and in, a, in a shade grown, bird safe certified through the Smithsonian, it's it's a, a lush, biodiverse sort of yeah. rainforest. Yeah. If you're standing on a ridge looking out over the farm, you'll barely notice the coffee bushes growing beneath this canopy of trees. Now, what, what happens to the birds when they don't have this canopy of trees? They just have no place to go. And, and little food. Stop. They've done studies that they show how the number of species increases in a coffee plantation right. as the forest is regrown around them. And it became important to us because I'm an active birder. And so when I see, especially like migratory warblers, they're wintering in the countries that are growing the coffee. And so they're that, benefiting. That this coffee is coming from. Yeah, so, so the bird that I see in my backyard could be the same bird I see when I go to Costa Rica. You're literally saving the habitats of birds in your own backyard that's, in Cape Vincent that's also. The birds need habitat on both ends of their right. travels. Right. Yeah. That's utterly amazing. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. So now it's time for the zoo to get on board. Zoo New York will now officially be partnering with Gato Diablo Coffee, roasted locally in Cape Vincent. Because when it comes to bird friendly, the sky's the limit. You know, I think they were right. Coffee is stronger than you think. But then again, maybe we all are.